Welcome everybody. This is the TESPA Arena round of 16, our final week here for the spring season before everyone goes off onto summer break. I'll be your caster for the day, Jet Set Jamerson. And our first match is going to be a rematch, actually, of one of our quarterfinal matches from uh, from our, what would I call it at this point, winter slash fall uh, TESPA season. But it is going to be uh, Rutgers University facing off against Berkeley here. Their rosters looking as such. Slurpee, Thief, Izzy, B, Chowster, Aligned, Style, and Quantum for Berkeley. And representing Rutgers today, it is going to be Lefty, Chicken and Waffles, Nintendo 64, GT Foo, Insane, and iKogo. So basically the same lineups, but we do have a few swap-offs from the last time these two teams met at LAN. I believe... Quantum is one of the newer pickups on the side of Berkeley. Um, coming in for, looks like Sheik is missing today. And I believe the last time we saw Quantum, he was playing a lot of Zarya for the side of uh, Berkeley. And Izzy B also coming in uh, for them. Kyle, not here. Now, now we are going to be starting off on King's Row for our first matchup. Berkeley starting off on the defensive end. We're going to have Rutgers, the Scarlet Knights, starting off on the offense. Now let's see what kind of composition they pull out for the defense here. And already they're hovering over a triple tank composition. So Slurpee Thief, who has been their primary Reinhardt player for the last year. Now Izzy B picking up the Ana Chowster will be on the Lucio aligned on the Diva style. Will be the primary DPS with that Soldier 76 and Quantum, like I had mentioned, will be on that Zarya. We've seen a lot of Zarya play uh, in competitive Overwatch in the pro side of things, especially here on King's Row. Now, for Rutgers, they haven't committed to anything quite yet. They still have 40 seconds to go. But we do see a may hover over which probably isn't going to go through but um already looking at the fact that rutgers have zenyatta along with lucio is signaling to me that they might go for a triple dps dive composition a la rogue but that still remains to be seen as they do still have 10 seconds Right, lefty swapping off onto the Winston. We're getting closer and closer to that dive composition. GT Foo will be on the Tracer. Icogo picking up the Diva. So, quasi dive coming out. It's a 2 2 2. Chicken and Waffles will be sticking on to this Widowmaker right now. Going for the opening shot. Misses onto 76 as he backs off. Lefty goes in for the engage. Forces them back into the archway. Now, Slurpee Thief getting tickled down by the Tesla Cannon. But a huge Biotic Nade comes out on the side of Berkeley. And that's going to be Ikogo getting D mech here. But Chicken and Waffles finds the first pick. Taking out Slurpee Thief. It's a 6v5 as Chicken and Waffles just lighting up the kill feed now. Taking out Style. To 64 in favor of Rutgers University, and they are just cleaning house. They are on point A. Two ticks already taken. Finally, aligned answers back, but it's just Lefty going down. And they're going to be able to take point A with no problem whatsoever. Five minutes and 45 seconds to get through the street phase. The next checkpoint. Now, no longer. Do we have the Widowmaker Chicken and Waffles has swapped off onto the Soldier 76. So it's still a 2 2 2 composition here. Lefty going in, jumping in with that Winston GT food, though. Gets hit by a Biotic Nade and immediately falls. And now it's a 6v5. And Berkeley want to press their advantage. They're still playing pretty passively as the payload is making the bend now. But Insane, a little bit caught out, is going to have to back off. Here comes the Diva self-destruct. It's not going to catch anyone out. Everyone on Rutgers University able to make it to safety. Now they're going to push forward with the Transcendence. And that's going to allow Lefty to get that first kill onto Slurpee Thief. His respawns are coming in. Tactical Visor is going to get popped by Style, though. But he's pushing forward. He's got the Nano Boost. Sound Barrier comes out just in time. Come on alive. But there it is. Quantum coming out with that 
uh, with the Graviton Surge, they're not only able to convert, now they're pushing forward on the side of Rutgers University. Chicken and Waffles already finds two kills off of it, and that's going to force back all of Berkeley. The payload making great headway here. They got four minutes and 30 seconds. Push it about another 20 meters. Berkeley can regain their composure here. Chicken and Waffles already has the high ground. Here comes the self-destruct out from Icogo right now. Doesn't catch anyone out, but Slurpee Thief was caught out in the middle of all that. And that's going to allow Rutgers to get the first checkpoint rather uncontested. And now they're pushing forward, trying to pick up any stragglers. We did have the swap off a line. Opting to go away from that D.Va, picking up the Roadhog. Nothing coming of it quite yet, but Style does D-Mech Ikogo, and now there's definitely an opportunity for them to get a kill. Style finding a second one, takes out GT Fu, but already Rutgers. Going largely uncontested. Huge Earth Shadow comes out from Slurpee Thief, but a great Primal Rage coming out from, uh, coming out from Lefty there. We'll just go ahead and disengage, and Slurpee Thief gets taken out. Lefty coming up huge so far with this one. He finally does fall as the Biotic Nade did land onto him, but Nintendo coming in gets the kill onto the line. Style pops that tactical visor on Ikogo, just eating it all up with that Diva. And now it's GT Fu's chance. He's pushing forward. Chicken and Waffles coming in, picks up a triple kill, here's another Graviton Surge, but now they're finally able to convert it, it looks like Berkeley will be able to regain their footing here on the defense, finally putting a stop to this push coming out from uh, Rector's University, still the payload just meters away, and now the Nano Boost comes out onto Slurpee Thief, who has swapped off into Wizard, oh no, he gets boomed off by Insane! But still, they are going to be able to recover here on the side of Berkeley. Lefty jumping in one more time though. Pulse Bomb doesn't quite connect onto him. He's going to force the d mech out from Quantum with the help of Chicken and Waffles along with the Zenyatta. Now Slurpee Thief trying his best to hold them all back, but Sound Barrier comes out too late. A line pushes forward though, gets the trade, take out Nintendo, and now the defense have really established their footing here. And they're going to force back Rutgers University for now, but Damage has been done. There's still three minutes and 40 seconds left on the clock for Rutgers just to push the payload about 10 meters here. As Iacogo is just gonna go for the reset. Now, no Reinhardt's on either side, which is a very interesting thing that we do see a lot of teams once we get into this boundary portion actually opting for that Reinhardt just to have that Earth Shatter for a decisive team win. Now, Rutgers University pushing forward with that sound boost. But Lefty immediately on style, he will get that kill, pops the Primal Rage, and now he's on the back, jumps back to get a line, but oh no, leaves Chicken Waffles all by himself, that's gonna be Slurpee Thief, able to get that kill. Self-Destruct does come out from Ikogo, and he picks up two! GT Fu even getting a kill on there, but Style finally answering on back, he's got that tactical visor. Now, just Ikogo here, try to delay for as long as he can, but no, he will go down. Another successful defense coming out on the side of Berkeley. Still two minutes, 46, uh, 46 seconds left on the clock for Rutgers University. They've got the transcendence. They have the tactical visor and there's nothing at all to answer back on the side of Berkeley. If Quantum gets out of his mech. Watch for Rutgers to immediately push the go button here. But we still have Slurpee Thief on the high ground. He's right on top of Nintendo. He's gonna force the transcendence out early. Cool visor coming out also in return, but they did not get rid of that mech. So Quantum was able to eat up a lot of that. Chicken and Waffles only able to get one kill off that, but Lefty now started to answer. He gets the kill onto Style. Ikogo forces the mech out of Quantum, and now they're cleaning house. It's just down to Chouster and a line, but with a line, Pulse Bomb not quite connecting there. He's trying his best to juke and jive Izzy B. Not able to keep him alive. Style will be able to jump on with Soldier 76 as the respawns are coming in. But here's the tactical visor coming up from Style. Sound Barrier will come out on the side of Berkeley here. Now they are able to regain their footing once again. Self-destruct coming up from Quantum as Lefty finds a kill onto Izzy B. Quantum does get the mech out, but it might be a little too late here. As the offense is just trying their best right now. Nintendo finds the kill on the Quanta, but Aligned immediately answers on back on that Tracer once again. Man, these respawns really working against Rutgers University as the sound barrier does come out. And Ikogo 
with another self-destruct. This time, it's not gonna amount to anything, but it's all lefty right now. And the kill feed pulls bomb even connects onto Slurpee Thief. He's dropped down low and he's gonna try and kite back. But he will finally fall to Lefty and Ikogo finds the kill off the Chouster. Who comes on out? And it's gonna be Ikogo who was able to get one off. And with that, with a minute and one second left on the clock, Rutgers will be able to finish it off. And now you, you guys have to understand that one second makes a huge difference for Rutgers University. If Berkeley cannot complete out this map with some time remaining in their time bank, they will not be afforded an opportunity to, to attack point A. So that does make a huge difference. It gives Rutgers a large win condition if they can't put a stop to Berkeley right here and now. And so Rutgers on the defensive end. Haven't committed to any picks quite yet. Lefty already hovering over the Reinhardt and Chicken and Waffles on the 76. I'm pretty sure those will go through along with that Lucio for insane. Now, GT Fu deciding whether or not he wants to go for that tracer, and he is out the gates with it. Nintendo right, will go ahead and pick up the Ana and Ikogo now on that Zarya. So, neither side quite opting for a Diva here on the point A defense for Berkeley, though. Do have Quantum, of course, once again on that Zarya style. Currently hovering over the Farah and aligned on Genji. Aligned. Genji is pretty renowned. We saw him put in work during the Tespa Collegiate series with it before, but now he's kind of off the for possibly Soldier 76. Get a little bit more long range hit scan damage out there. We do have a swap off coming out from the side of Rutgers University. Lefty no longer going for that Reinhardt. He's going to pick up the Winston along with Ikogo, swapping off to that Diva now. So it's going to be a very difficult task for him to try and keep his mech alive, especially up against Quantum Zarya, who's been doing a really good job of keeping his energy high. Now, GT Fu gets jumped on immediately, has to use that recall, and now he's getting jumped on by three members. He's getting forced back as he's trying to take this 2v1, but it's going to be Lefty that gets the first kill onto Chouster, and that might immediately put the stop to the offense the pharmacy not able to get much done as style goes down to chicken and waffles and now they're just going for that reset a line getting challenged up top by gt foo he will go down great first hold coming out from Rutgers so far they're even pushing into the spawn right now but they've got to be careful the respawns have come back for berkeley so that pharmacy ready to put in work now Style's got that damage boost, but Chouster's getting focused down by GT Fu. He's got the Pulse Bomb at the ready. Alina swapped off onto the Roadhog. Hasn't found a hook quite yet, but we do have that Nano Visor at the ready on the side of Rutgers University. But it's gonna be Style immediately taking that out of the equation, and now the cleanup is happening. Style with the second kill so far on that Fara. Here we go. We got the big barrage coming out with that Graviton Surge. Five members, six members of Rutgers down. And even though their first attempt got deflected by Rutgers, Berkeley will be able to capture point A with two minutes and 20 seconds remaining on the clock. So not quite as a decisive push coming out from Berkeley so far. They have a lot of time to make up for. As we enter the streets portion here on King's Row, Pharmacy still out on the field for the side of Berkeley. Hook comes out from the line, doesn't quite connect, and now they're jumping forward. They've got that Nano Visor. Chicken and Waffles immediately taking out Style. Now he's pushing all the way onto the payload. Cleans up Izzy B. And the only remaining members are Quantum and Slurpee Thief, but Slurpee Thief, I don't know if they actually have figured out that he's all the way in the subway right now. It's a very difficult position for him to be in. He gets spotted out by GT Fu. GT Fu will have to recall, but it's just a matter of time. Slurpee Thief actually using the Primal Rage. That's going to give him that extra 1,000 HP and forces out the Sound Barrier on the side of Rutgers. Self-Destruct comes on out. 
<laughs> who did get hooked on in insane gets the kill on to quantum though and so now the defense regaining their composure insane dropping a little bit low but he will be able to back out night kogo find that kill onto a line so they still haven't been able to deal with this diva mech quite yet as style actually kills himself but we do immediately have the two-man res coming out from chouster whole hog for a line but it gets all soaked up by i kogo there's the pulse bomb but they've already gotten the kill onto a line they're gonna force back berkeley once again Insane getting a delayed kill onto Quantum once more, and he hasn't been able to deal with Ikogo so far. Really does need to direct his attention towards that so that Style can get the free damage off. Lefty jumping on in, he's got that projected barrier on and out. Pharmacy not able to get damage through it, but here's the Nana Boost coming on out once again for Chicken and Waffles, but the Barrage comes out! If he gets the kill on the Chicken and Waffles style, we'll even get the Demic, and now the payload's starting to make headway here. Finally, Berkeley wins that team fight. Now, Lefty did have that Primal Rage to try and stall for as long as possible, but he will be forced back as it does go down on cooldown. He has to try and regroup with this team. They're gonna have another opportunity to defend here before it gets to the next checkpoint. Nintendo actually out in the very open spot. He's got to be careful as the line does spot him out, but he will be able to make it back to the safety of his team. Now, Style pushing forward with that pharmacy combo once again, but here's the self destruct. Sound barrier comes out on the side of Rutgers. Ikogo finds the first frag on Style, he even forces the D mech out from a line, and it's going to be insane coming up to get that kill. Here's the Graviton Surge, catches three, but. Reinhardt is the only person able to get damage through that defense matrix. He's going to be forced back for now. He is healed up once again by Izzy B, but Lefty able to get the kill onto Quantum. They're forcing back Berkeley once again. Earth Shadow comes out, but it whiffs. Doesn't connect onto a single member. Ico is going to get d here, but he's still getting damage across. Filing does go down to a line. His D.Va counterpart so far, but GT Fu pushing forward. We do have a two-man res. It's going to be Slurpy Thief and Style back in the fight now. But GT Fu he had that nano boost the entire time. Was able to get the kill onto a line right now. And currently, Rutgers putting the screws onto Berkeley. Will force them back. They are really running out of time. One minute and ten seconds left on the clock to get the next checkpoint here. And then that foundry push is still going to be even that much more difficult. Barrage comes out. It's gonna be Izzy B that gets the kill onto Lefty. They've got the 65 advantage and now they're pushing forward as Nintendo though. Snipes! Daughter out of the sky taking out Style. Equalizing this fight right now. Slurpy people has to be careful. Biotic Nade, he's purple. Dropped down to half HP, but he will get healed up once again. GT Fu though consistently on the back line right now. He's going in the Tracy B Tracer battle up against a line, but it's gonna be insane. On the front lines, gets the kill onto Izzy B before finally the Tracer battles end. Chouster immediately goes for the Temple Res, bringing back Izzy B, who is a big contributor for this team fight. Graviton Surge comes on out, but with that Biotic Nay, the Transcendence will not be able to heal that up. Lefty does go on down. But Ikogo once again with the self destructs. Able to pick up a kill. We'll start stymieing the offense on the side of Berkeley here. Insane. Once again, coming up on the kill feed. He has been ever present, especially as a support for the side of Rutgers University. And now Berkeley really starting to falter. We're in overtime. Lefty has made it back into the fight. And Chicken Waffles once again with another tactical visor. But it's going straight into the Zarya Bears. For now, it does fizzle. Resurrection comes out. Chaster immediately bringing back Slurpy Thief. But they weren't able to do anything off of the Earth Shatter that he got beforehand. Lefty dropping really low. Slurpy Thief does have that nano boost but isn't able to do much with it now style is going to try and push forward with that tactical advisor but ikoko is sitting right on top of him soaking it all up even commits the kill onto him finds the second onto chouster and they might have just done it here's a transcendence rutgers university will take king's row up against berkeley that was an interesting first match uh, first map to say the least, Rutgers able to strike first blood in this series against Berkeley here. And this is this isn't just a rematch. This is redemption for Rutgers, and so far they are looking good.
Ikogo on that D.Va has been putting in so much work. Every time he has that self-destruct, he finds a way of finding at least one kill. Most players just pray for that. We saw even on some occasions Ikogo actually coming up with a two-man uh, self-destruct, even getting the collateral D-Mech out of, I believe it was aligned, playing the D.Va on the opposite end there. And so now we're going on to map number two. Let me see what the map pool is. Not have map pool for the second uh, for the second map, but regardless, here on this hybrid style map, Proctor's looked fantastic. Lefty was doing a great job on that Winston consistently. Starting off the team fights for Rutgers University, opening up windows, GT Fu consistently on the back line with that Tracer also just pulling them every which way. And so that 2-2-2 two, two, two die composition coming up from Rutgers paying off big time for the Scarlet Knights. We even saw just down the board Every single member of Rutgers really contributing to the team fights. Insane. We saw whether he was on Zenyatta or on Lucio, just contributing big time into the team fights, picking up frags for himself and everything. Now it looks like Nepal is going to be our next match, uh, next map here between Rutgers and Berkeley. Nepal, of course, a control style map or uh, King of the Hill, as some might call it. Lends itself more to a deathmatchy style where I imagine Aligned is going to want to pick out uh, Genji. Genji really does excel um, being able to create fights in these narrow corridors, especially with his Dragon Blade, where he can come up with huge value off of it. Well, we're just getting the final ready ups from both teams. We've got Rutgers University giving the ready up, and now we're just waiting on Berkeley. But right now, Rutgers just winning individually across the board. Their 76 was doing an amazing job. I believe that was Chicken and Waffles. Lefty, their primary tank. Ikogo on the uh, Traveling on the the Diva, which is winning out that 1v1 battle and also just consistently keeping, I want to say it was Style, who was on Soldier 76 out of the fight. Now, we are moving on to Sanctum, and immediately we do have GT Fu hovering over that Orisa, and I'm a huge fan. I've been playing a lot of Orisa myself whenever I get onto Nepal. Uh, one of the bigger issues with Orisa herself, though, is it's very difficult to try and retake if you do not cap the point. And so the onus is going to be on uh, Rutgers University here to gain control of the point and maintain control of the point or otherwise they are going to go ahead and struggle already we are seeing that genji being hovered by a line style possibly picking up either the tracer older or the soldier 76. i think as soon as he sees ikogo on the diva though he might opt for the tracer now gates have unlocked both teams pushing forward. Lefty is the one with the Reinhardt here. So no shield battles to be played. So they've got double shields. And once again, the Winston starting on the team fight. So Lefty Thief jumping on in. But Lefty, he's got that Reinhardt. Is getting into the back line. It's going to force Lefty Thief back. It's going to be Chicken and Waffles. That gets the first kill. Lefty finding the one onto Izzy B. And now it's a 6v3 advantage in favor of Rutgers University. This Orisa really catching them off guard on the side of Berkeley. And this is what I'm talking about. Once you get that Orisa, once you gain the point, you have so much pressure, especially here at the choke point. Just throw down that barrier, the 900 HP barrier, and play the choke point. And she is so oppressive, especially with just her regular fire, her gun. Huge clip, she can just consistently spam out there. A line gets put to sleep, and that's just gonna staunch them for now. But they are starting to give away the ch uh, for, give away the choke point here. 
Once again, Slurpy Thief jumps into the back line. Lefty is going to be the first one to go down as a line with that Genji. Finds that kill. Chicken Waffles immediately answers on back, though, taking out Style and oh, two man. No, it's just going to be the one as a line pushes forward. He's got that Dragon Blade. All right, two kills going on out. But we've got the Nano Visor coming out for Chicken and Waffles. Excuse me, it was just the Nano Boost for Chicken and Waffles. They were just trying to keep him alive to try and deal with a line, but at that point, he had already come up huge. So only 40% on the board. So here we go, they're pushing forward, going for that retake on the side of Rutgers University. 20% for Berkeley, already gained. Here's a tactical visor coming up from Chicken and Waffles. Graviton Surge immediately answered back by Quantum. But they still have to deal with the 2,000 HP Reinhardt shield. Chicken and Waffles get the kill onto Izzy V. And now they've got the three-man advantage. Forcing back Slurpee Thief. They will retake the point. Slurpee Thief not long for this world of Chicken and Waffles. Cleans him up. So forget what I said about Orisa having a difficult time on the retakes. Teams, though. Oh, Earthshatter comes out. Doesn't quite connect. But yeah, as I was mentioning, teams just having a difficult time dealing with the Rissas. They don't really know how to deal with it. But once again, aligned with that Dragon Blade and style pushing forward. He's got two for himself. Helix Rocket Kill and the Technical Visor Kill. Just like that, they'll answer right on back. 71% before it flips back on over in favor of Berkeley. GT Fu has been so oppressive with this halt so far is gonna force back a line. Chicken and waffles, peeking his head out, trying to get any damage off that he can. Take a look how passively that they're playing on the side of Berkeley. They don't want to get caught out. Tactical visor comes out for chicken and waffles, but no, Quantum will clean him up. A line coming in for a second kill. Lefty only answering with one. They are fighting over the point right now, but still with the man advantage in favor of Rutgers University until Lefty comes in with a huge charge there. He does get cleaned up though. And now Rutgers. And Berkeley fighting back and forth, but it will be Berkeley coming up ahead here. We are getting a pause, getting called out from the side of Rutgers University. Might be a little bit of a latency issue, and it looks like it is confirmed by Lefty. Now, what I think they could do differently here on the side of Rutgers University. I'm not saying that their composition is wrong, but it's a little bit redundant, right? You're running the Reinhardt, you're running the Orisa. Uh, you can have a little bit more engage by putting Lefty on to that Winston, which he was fairly successful with on King's Row. Uh, that's what they're sorely lacking at this point, they're engaged. They've been kind of trying to brute force uh, some of these tactical visors out from chicken and waffles. But um, if they, you know, pick up that Winston, they're going to be able to apply a lot more pressure onto Chaucer, onto Izzy B, and try to get that support line down first. Hey. But they're so close to that Earth Shatter. Bad timing to try and swap off here. Chicken and Waffles pushing out from the right hand side. We've got the Bongos coming out along with that Nano Visor for Transcendence immediately gets answered. And that's gonna dissipate a lot of that damage. Here's the Graviton Surge. It connects onto Insane. He gets a few slaps to the face before going down to style now. Berkeley still on this point as Chicken and Waffles finally does clean up a line. Fighting inside the cubby, it's gonna be lefty to get the kill onto Serpent even before he finally goes down. But it's all Berkeley in the kill feed. And they're gonna be able to the open salvo here on Nepal up against Rutgers University. Remember, Rutgers currently leading 1-0 against Berkeley now. Lefty already hovering over the Winston on the side of Rutgers University, and we might even have a Farah coming out as we do move on to Village. 
Now, one of the most difficult things about trying to play a far eater on village is just that the point is encapsulated. There's a roof above it, so it becomes very difficult if you're trying to go for the retakes with it and also fighting on the point. Now, style is on that soldier 76, though, so there is an option to try and deal with the pharmacy combo, but with the nerfs, it becomes that much more difficult. Remember, soldiers just getting nerfed down to 19 damage per shot. It's already Chouster goes on down, so that extra added pressure not going to be quite enough as Ikoga gets demeched, and now Lefty going on down, but still this pharmacy in the sky, fishing out the damage. The line did go down. Points has unlocked, but neither side actually opting to try and capture it quite yet. They're just going to go ahead and get the focus down onto Lin Tando, bringing him down, and now the pharmacy, their wings are clipped. Point is being contested so far by GT Food. As he does commit that recall into it, but he will go down to Quantum. I need healing. I need healing. So Berkeley. Again, in control of the point, Slurpee Thief jumps on to the front line here. We'll force them back as they are regrouping on the side of Rector's. GT Foo has that pulse bomb at the ready. High ground is going to be maintained on the side of Berkeley. Lefty jumps and immediately gets focused down, aligned with the Swift Strike in, takes him on out. And now they're pushing forward. As Chicken and Waffles will go down immediately in this team fight. Just getting largely won, but here's the Resurrect. Aligned immediately answers with that Dragon Blade style even coming in with that Tactical Advisor. And just like that, as soon as they get res, they will get taken out once again. 43% on the board for Berkeley here. Quickly on their way to the second point. But there are going to be a lot of ultimates in tow. Almost five, excuse me, four at the ready for the side of Rutgers University. But the Graviton Surge lands on to the majority of Rutgers. Sound very keeping them alive for now, but Nintendo will not be able to survive. Chicken Wall is going to the garage, but once again, aligned on this Genji. Not to be outdone. All over the kill feed so far. Another clean team fight coming out for Berkeley here. It's coming down to the wire. Rutgers University committed a lot into that last team fight. Nintendo now swapping off onto the Zenyatta. That Mercy. Not able to do much. Chicken and Waffles swapping over to Soldier 76. All well, they're going to have to work with is going to be the Primal Rage. And oh no, Nintendo. The primary target of the Focus Fire coming out from Berkeley Squad. And they've already cleaned up four kills. It's a 2v6 as they're trying to keep this alive for as long as possible through that primal rage lefty immediately goes down the berkeley's focus fire so far here on village has been spectacular every time lefty tried to go in for that engage got immediately focused on down and then from there they were able to easily swap off their attention onto any other member on the side of Rutgers, and now they are onto map point as we do move on to shrine Berkeley, well on their way to tying up the series one to one. Do we have anything different coming out on the side of Rutgers? No longer going in for that pharmacy. They're going to be sticking with the 222. Chicken waffles on Soldier 76. Nothing really getting swapped off on the side of Berkeley as it's largely mirrored composition just the major differences is going to be the Genji uh, versus Tracer along with the Diva versus Azari but immediately GT food gets to the back line and once again it's going to be Chaucer going down first the Orb of Discord on Serpy Thief and that's going to allow GT food to pick up the second kill 6v4 in favor of Richters and they're answering right on back a line though coming in with a double kill keeping this fight alive for now but style Got caught out by himself, will go down, and it's going to be Rutgers this time. He can control the point first. Alindo still here in the back line, but he's fighting a 6B, or excuse me, a 4B. One will go down, immediately gets sent back into the respawn queue. My ultimate is charging. Rutgers University in a great spot. Lefty, about to get his Primal Rage. GT Fu with that Pulse Bomb. There's nothing really to answer it on the side of... Berkeley as they push forward through main lefty watching out 
trying to find the proper target and immediately he's on to Chowster. The focus fire not quite there this time as Ikogo will be able to contribute. Gets the kill onto Chowster. Stal pushes forward with the tactical visor though. Two kill come on out, but already answered in kind by Rutgers University. Now we have an even team fight. It's gonna be 3v3 on the point, but still. During all of this, it's Rutgers University with the control and GT Foo cleaning up Izzy B. He should be able to maintain the point as Slurp is the final member here. He does have that Orb of Transcendence on him for now. Orb of Harmony, excuse me. He has getting cleaned up through that style. Now trying his hand, trying to keep this point alive. But no, once again, caught out without the support of his team. We'll go down to GT Foo. Pulse Swamp came out and actually connected onto Quantum, but he had the barrier to keep him alive. Still, GT Fu, it's okay for him to throw out these pulse bombs. Tracers, we see consistently getting their pulse bombs. Just trying to pick up the value kills. Try to stagger the offense as much as possible. Berkeley pushing forward once again. Just coming down to the final team fight. Align, he's got the Dragon Blade, but Nintendo immediately answers with that transcendence. So Align will not be able to get anything off of it. Slurpy Thief going down first. So it's a 6v5. Chicken Wobbles got that tactical visor. Style goes down. Transcendence, not quite enough to try and keep this alive as Quantum gets focused down. Chaucer finally answers on back along with Aligned. But is the reset going to be enough? Aligned has to be careful as the Winton is right on top of him right now. Lefty just focusing him on down. We are in overtime now as Slurpy Thief and Style are trying to keep this alive. Slurpy Thief has that Primal Rage. Got that extra 1000 HP as the Tactical Visor comes out from Style. He gets a kill onto Insane. Find the second onto Ikogo before he goes in. Uh, down, but still, the real back and forth affair is Lefty is keeping this alive. It's gonna be Rutgers University taking the third point. Now, excuse me, my alarm is going off right now. I was not hearing that. Let me go ahead and turn that off. So unprofessional, Jamerson. Come on now. So, map score is one to zero in favor of Rutgers University. Currently, Berkeley still sitting on map point here. Two to one now as we do go back on to uh, onto Sanctum. No Orissa this time coming out from Rutgers. They want to play a little bit more standard. We're already seeing Winston's coming out from both sides, so neither really opting for the Reinhardt as we saw Lefty going for four. Now, Berkeley opting for, once again, this very Korean dive composition, that 2-2-2. Two, two, two. The high ground getting controlled so far, but in the back line is going to be Lefty actually jumping on back to peel for his team. He comes up with two kills. Slurpy, Thief, and Style both on down. A line tries to jump in with that Swift Strike, but he immediately gets focused down by Lefty. who will fall the Chicken and Waffles, and that's going to be Rutgers University. Gaining control of the point first. Oh, Chicken and Waffles with great helix rocket onto his style, takes him on out. Ikogo spots out Slurpy Thief. He's just trying to get his mech back, but he's so vulnerable at this point. Hiding backwards, he will go down to Slurpy Thief. Now, it's going to be the man advantage, but immediately we do have Rutgers trying to fall back. But Slurpy Thief will be able to make it to the safety of his team. And now Align spots out Nintendo. Both supports down on the side of Rutgers University, and this is the go button for Berkeley as they push forward. Lefty will use his Primal Rage right now, but he's not gonna be able to delay the point, which is really what you wanted on the side of Rutgers. GT Fu though, once again, gets to the back, takes out the Chowster, and already, just like that, they're answering back on the side of Rutgers University. Dragon Blade comes out from a line though, but once again, Transcendence, two members have already gone down through that though. Now line looking for more. It's a 2v4 affair as the Primal Rage comes out and he actually gets the boop up onto Ikogo and Align in the 2v4. They're able to do it. Style up against GT Fu, not able to get that Pulse Bomb connect. GT Fu will have to back out as he does use that recall and Berkeley will maintain control of the point. Now in the lead, 40% on the board and ticking up. 
Again, lefty jumping in. He will jump back. Sound barrier comes out. Only connects onto three. The oh no! Quantum, unfortunately, firing that graviton surge into Icogo's defense matrix, but not the end of the world as they still haven't aligned their cleaning house. Reset after reset. Four kills to his name there. Berkeley, just 35% away from taking this map as style. It's a stacking kill onto GT Fu. He's been doing a really good job of staying alive in the back line. Trying to focus down Chouster continually over and over again, but finally he's getting punished for it. Now it's coming down to the possible final team fight for Rutgers University. Tactical Visor coming out for Chicken and Waffles, but Transcendence is going to be... Oh, Zerpy Thief going too far, but aligned once again with that Dragon Blade. Finds two kills already. He's looking for more, but it's going to be Quantum taking out GT Fu. We do have Lefty with that Primal Rage on the point. Is able to get Quantum quartered. And now it's going to be a 4v3 as, oh no, the boot comes out. Izzy B taking out Nintendo and Berkeley. Maintaining control of the point so far as Surfy Thief is able to D Mech I Kogo takes him down too. Primal Rage almost knocks off. Uh, it looked like GT Boo there, but he had the recall ready. Now they're answering back on Rutgers. They can just clean up Slurpy Thief and line here. They'll be able to do it, but Quantum able to get the kill onto a line. Chicken Waffles, great. Helix Rocket takes out a line. Sound Barrier comes out on the side of Rutgers University. They have to lay everything on the table here. It looks like it might have just been enough. Chicken and Waffles picks up the kill onto his counterpart. And they will be able to swap the point back, but still. They're playing on borrowed time here. 40% to 99. Berkeley on map point. They just need one clean retake. They're a little bit of a power trough here as the only ultimate they have so far is going to be that pulse bomb. They almost have the sound barrier though, and it might just be enough. This pulse bomb will be able to pierce through that transcendence and the burst, just getting through that damage. But unfortunately, it looked like the pulse bomb is not able to quite connect, but it will on the side of Berkeley Style. Coming in with the three man, even getting the D mech, and just like that, Berkeley have done it. Nintendo, the final member here, he will go down. Berkeley with the cap. Such a huge team fight win off the back of the pulse bomb coming out from Style. They're going to tie it up one to one, sending it to a map number three. Woo! So, already a back and forth affair. And we're seeing why Berkeley won to take the team apart. They allow a line to come alive. This is one of the maps that's just super strong for Genji. We saw what a line can do. He really abused the alleges, uh, was able to get in and out of team fights, kite effectively, and stay alive longer on Genji, which before he was really struggling to do on King's Row. But now, we are tied up one to one, and we're going to Route 66 for our third map here. And so Route 66, it's still one of those maps that heavily favors currently in the meta, the uh, more divey compositions. Um, in the, uh, I was about to call it the LCK, in the OGN Apex. Uh, we're we're still seeing a lot of the two 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 dive compositions, right? Genji Tracer, Winston Diva. Um, up until you get into the warehouse portion, a lot of teams kind of just not really opting for the Reinhardt Big Earls play anymore. As we have Big Earls on the screen, there it's a, a little bit fragile and uh, not able to respond as well, especially if a dive comes out and. We've seen teams like Envious and Rogue really, uh, along with Selfless in the North American scene in particular, uh, play a very divey defense where they immediately start defending once the payload even gets moved here right outside of the spawn gates and just try and burn down as much time off the clock before you know it gets to that first checkpoint there. And so on the defense it is going to be 
Rutgers University. They are going for that really mobile divey defense lefty once again on the Winston Icogo picking up the Diva, the Nintendo, and Insane, the support duo there with Anna and Lucio. Plus the DPS for Rutgers for the Scarlet Knights. It's gonna be GT Fu once again on Tracer and Chicken and Waffles on that Soldier 76. And GT Fu, despite that loss in Nepal. Is doing so much work continually getting to the back line and making Chowster's life a living hell, continually focusing him down and creating these uh, 65 advantages. But already on the side of Berkeley, we're having that divey composition that I was talking about before. Uh, they're not going to be running a tracer, instead, it's going to be aligned on the Genji. And there it is. We're already seeing Rutgers University just on the payload from the get-go immediately finding the kill onto a line they gotta be careful here though and gt fu picking out style the pharmacy not paying off quite yet it's gonna be a three for one trade as the defense is all over this payload now Waffles finds another kill, taking out Slurpee Thief. It's gonna put a stop to the offense so far. Lefty even jumping on up before he gets pooped back. Now the payload finally started to push forward here. There you go, they are going in once again. Insane Lefty and Ikogo all in the back line. Slurpee Thief dropped really low because of a huge biotic nade. And here comes the tactical visor for Chicken and Waffles. He picks up two kills with it, pushing all the way towards the spawn with the help of GT Foo. And it looks like these teams have done their research. Really been keeping up with the pro meta so far. Berkeley. Really struggling here on their offense. Lefty once again on top of a line will force him back. Slurpy Thief gets stuck with that pulse bomb, goes immediately down. And that's half the tank line for Berkeley. Resurrection, Temple Res coming out from Chowster. GT Fu once again in the back lines. Chicken and Waffles does get that kill onto a line. Here's the barrage for style though. But both the Vets Matrix like spotlights out on top of her. Nothing's gonna go out from there, but Slurpee finally comes in with the kill onto Chicken and Waffles, and now that might be the pick that they needed. But Style drops really low. It's gonna be Ikogo taking him out. But once again, this dive defense coming out from Rutgers really putting a stop to Berkeley so far. We've seen a line now swapping off onto Zarya, but now he's getting focused down. Dropped down to about 25 HP. Ikogo all the way at the spawn doors. Now they are cleaning house. And it looks like we might be able to get the band back together as Seamus wants to join in on the action. All right, so we do have a pause coming out. And so far, Berkeley really struggling on their offense. They've been held at this choke point uh, for the entirety as GT Foo finds the kill onto Slurpee Thief. Action already underway. Right now, they are getting forced back into their spawn once again. Chicken and Waffles finds the kill onto the line. He's going to go ahead and pop that tactical visor, pushes forward. But. Everyone's already dead. There's no one for the tech visor to actually clean up at this point. Now, Quantum has gone down and he's gonna be making that large, long trek back from the spawn. He does have the boosters from D.Va, but that does, that's not gonna deter Lefty as he jumps immediately into the back line. Self-destruct comes out. 
Ikogo. Not able to find much off of that. But still, it's going to be a one for one trade. And now, Chicken and Waffles has got the visor. He's pushing forward. Excuse me. No, he's got the nano boost. Ikogo finds the kill onto the line. Here's a self destruct coming out. It's not going to amount to much as Quantum will be able to get back into his mech here. But, Style. There was a glimmer of hope as he was able to kill all the GT Foo, but still, they're trading back and forth now with Nintendo down, though. They're starting to clean house. Insane, the only member really here. Try and contest the point. He's going to try and back away, but Quantum is right on his heels. Takes him out as Slurpee Thief is pushing everyone back to the spawn. It looks like they've finally broken the defense so far, but with the way they're playing it, we're now in overtime. And they still haven't gone to the first checkpoint on the side of Berkeley. This is going to afford Rector's another opportunity to try and come and defend here. And they're going to have that Primal Rage. So, Lefty will be able to just push everyone off the payload. Remember, it is an overtime and it's been an overtime for quite some time now. But Ikogo gets the mech tier and Lefty finds the kill onto the Chouster, but Ikogo will go down in kind. Chicken and Boss Waffles, though, now has his own visor. Going to push forward. Quantum still in his mech, though, eating a lot of that up. all GT Foo. It's coming down to Quantum here. Overtime still. That rope burning extremely quickly. And Rutgers University able to put a stop to them. So quickly here. Not even able to get the first checkpoint. Let me go ahead and send an invite out to Simos.
loss and also peeling for Nintendo and insane. There's been almost no pressure really being applied to either one of those supports. While Chowster and Izzy B, their life has been made, have been made living hells, courtesy of GT Foo. Now, we do have Slurpee Thief back in the game. We got the ready up coming out from the side of Rutgers. We're waiting for Brickley to give their ready up and we'll be able to get this underway. All right, we're restarting now. But already. This defense, one member down as Slurpee Thief has to run back from spawn, and Ikogo jumps in with Lefty, taking out Style. And already two members down on the side of Berkey. Izzy B, he was on top of the payload, gets taken on out, and it's all Rutgers University. They're a quarter of the way there. Just 45 more meters. They will be able to secure. Their spot in the round of eight. GT Fu though gets a little bit too aggressive. Gets hooked by aligned. Will go down still though. The payload making great headway here. They've got four members on it right now. They're going in for the retake oh, on the side of Berkeley. Jump comes on in. Ikogo gets hooked as Lefty tries to get onto the back line. He does have the support of Ikogo right now, but. Ikogo gets the mech GT Fu. Answers in kind. Both mechs out of the equation now, but a huge biotic nade comes out. And that's gonna allow Brickley to clean up. Should have kept your head down. Brickley playing on knife's edge here. Eleven meters away from getting knocked out. Round of sixteen. Once again, there's the hook. Ikogo about to get d mech here. We'll be able to make it back to the safety of his team as Lefty now jumps in. Slurpee Thief, he's got the Nana Boost and he's jumped onto the back line, but Chicken and Waffles will be able to just run away. Tactical Visor coming out from both sides. No kills coming out quite yet, but it will be Style going on down. Both 76s not able to do much with those tag Visors. We do have the Sound Barrier coming up from the side of Rutgers University. Lefty. I need two kills, we've got the Primal Rage, but that's not enough. Slurpee Thief trying to keep this alive, but it's all down to him. He goes down to GT Foo along with the line, and just like that, it's going to be Rutgers University to take it 2-1 to one up against Berkeley, getting their revenge for the TESPA semifinals. One, zero. GG's Berkeley knocked out. Man, we saw Berkeley being highly dominant during uh, the Tespa Collegiate series, uh, especially once we got to the land finals. But this was a completely different story. The dive really favoring them. I thought it would honestly dive Berkeley playing around Alliance Genji, but. They had an answer for it, and they forced him off continually. Um, he did not look as comfortable. He was getting focused down heavily by Lefty on that Winston. Of course, the direct counter. Well, actually, uh, it looks like it's double E limb. So, Berkeley not out of it quite yet. They're just going to be knocked down to the lower bracket there. Sorry for uh, misspeaking. But, uh, yeah. Rutgers moving on to uh, winner's round two now to... Uh, Face off against, well, I guess either the winner of Team Ignis or Varsity Redhawks, which I'm not familiar with either of those schools. But man, Rector's University. Remember the Emperors of the East holding on to that title so far. So GG's to them. Uh, it looks like we're going to be taking a short break as we get the next lobby, guys. Once again, this is the TESPA Arena. I am your host and caster, Jamerson, and we'll be back after a short break. <laughs> 